Okay, I have two lightning talks and a lightning advert, so let's see how well this goes. Okay, last year I gave a lightning talk on my approach to developing against RESTful APIs, and the conclusion was write an emulator. But my conclusion was also I'm too lazy to write an emulator, because I don't want to write the code and the documentation and the tests and an emulator. So I thought, how can we make that easier? <coughs> Emulating any API, when I, when I say that, I mean any API that has a, an open API or a Swagger specification, so it's not really any API, so that's the first caveat. What we have in those Swagger specifications are JSON schema, which define the JSON that we expect to receive, so I thought maybe we can use that to construct the JSON that we get back. And if the, if the API doesn't have a specification, you can actually go onto GitHub and find user contributed open API specs. So I wrote this module, which has a really, really bad name, but I couldn't think what else to name it, because it takes a JSON schema and makes JSON, so JSON schema to JSON. <laughs> and as you can see, what we do here is we, we pass in a, a JSON schema object, and we basically output some emulated data. Now, as you can see, it's, it's giving you an example, it's giving you a, a representative structure, but the data it's generating is nonsense. So if I run that again, I get different data, and again, I get different data again. So how can we use that to actually emulate an, uh, an, uh, an API? We can actually plug it into Modulish's plugin OpenAPI. The important bit here is we're passing a callback to the plugin, which basically just calls my module. So when it gets the response data, it sees that, oh, it's a 501, therefore not, implement, not implemented. So what we'll do is we'll check our spec, do we have an example response, we'll stuff it into my module, and we'll return that as a response. So what I'm doing here is just that, those lines of code you see there and that callback, I can generate using one of those user-provided specifications. I can emulate the Instagram API here. So if I run that, I get this back with about 30 lines of code. So that makes testing, end-to-end -end testing, much, much easier. And there are a few caveats. Um, yeah, because JSON schema can be quite hand wavy in parts. So I won't go into them because they're not very interesting. So that's the first lightning talk. My lightning, my lightning advert. <laughs> <laughs> my lightning advert is that I was at the Pearl Toolchain Summit uh, about a month ago and Sawyer had created a Instagram account and he kind of handed me the keys. So I've been uploading some photos of Pearl events I've been to. So I went to the French Pearl workshop, and obviously there's some from the Pearl Toolchain Summit there. And I've been uploading some ones I got from last year's uh, the Pearl Conference. Obviously I can't get to all the Pearl events, so it would be nice if you could contribute photos, because I've, I found we've almost, we're almost at 100 followers yet already, and this is purely through using hashtags and location data and descriptions. And it seems that a good half of these are not spam accounts, which is really, really, really good. They're actually people that are following the, the Instagram account. And it's a good way to get the fact that there are Pearl events running all the time out there. And it doesn't matter how big or how small your Pearl event is, if it's just a local Pearl Mungers group, send a couple of photos in and I'll upload them. I did add a, a blog post to blogs.pearl.org about how to do this as a Dropbox folder and everything. So if you want to contribute photos, that'd be really, really great. Okay. The last lightning talk is about the Swiss Pearl Workshop this year. Um, there are two deliberate mistakes in this lightning talk. The first one is that one. Um, the flag is not a rectangle, it's a square, so hopefully that won't have any impact on me getting a permit. But it's, so I'm bringing news from Switzerland, of, obviously, of the Swiss Pearl Workshop. And if you didn't know, there's a Swiss Pearl Workshop for the last five years. And it's not in the obvious places like Geneva or Zurich. It's been in the capital state, Bern, and Alton. Uh, the reason why that's a picture of a train yard is Alton is at the north, south, east, west, the way the train tracks. So you get these huge, um, well, you get lots of people taking photos of trains, basically. So, <laughs> And it was also in Innsbruck, which is um, especially surprising because Innsbruck is not in Switzerland, but there you go. <laughs> And this year it's in Villars Roland, which is in the Alp Vaudois. Just You can just about see Lake Geneva there. And it's the home of the company I work for, Given Gain, which 
is perhaps maybe the highest altitude pill shop in the world, I'm not sure. <laughs> and well, what can we offer you? We can obviously offer you views of a famous mountain, but not that, not that one, uh, this one, Don de Midi. And don't worry, it's in August, so there won't be any snow unless you hop over the valley to the glacier. And obviously we have cheese, of course, and we have chocolate, and we have wine. Actually, that's quite surprising. There's lots of wine in Switzerland, and whiskey as well. Um, unfortunately, you can't ask Wendy because she's not here, but we have beer, of course, and Rosti, which is basically um, really big hash browns. <laughs> and, of course, we have pearl, lots of pearl. We have talks, and we have workshops, and we have Damien. So come to Villa if you're in Europe, or maybe if you're not in Europe. That's where we are, just at the end of the lake. And if you really, really want to, you could sponsor us as well. So thank you very much.